A very good day to you people. My name is Mohit and guys today I'm going to talk about Stanley's digital voltage tester. It does not display lights but actually displays numbers. Uh, it's a Chinese product. It's made in China. And I'm going to read out what's exactly given on the packaging. There's nothing to unbox. It's just a small uh, pack. Uh, according to the instructions, the voltage test, there are five voltages indicating ranges 12 volts, 36 volts, 55 volts, 110 volts and 220 volts. So the procedure is to place the contact electrode of tester against the object to be tested. Press the button number two, the top button. Then the screen will display voltage value, but it will be an approximate value. The closest, closest to 12 or closest to 36 or closest to 55, 110, 220. So basically, even if the voltage is 240, 250, it's going to bump it down to 220. <coughs> the instructions further say if the test value can't reach 70% of the high indicating range, it will display the low value. So basically, it will bump it down, which is close to it. For example, if the test value is 9 volts, then the screen will display 12 volts. The same happens when the test value reach 190, the screen will show 220. Alright, so <clears throat> 9 will be bumped up to tw uh, 12 and uh, 190 will be bumped up to 220. So basically the lower value will be bumped up as long as it's 70% of the higher value. The inductance test is the indirect test. So basically, it, there's a direct test, there's an indirect test, there's an AC test, and there's a DC test. Wow. Press the button number one, the lower button. Put the contact electrode of the tester close to the object to be tested uh, while pressing the button number one. Basically, when they say press, uh, there is no tactile feedback. You just have to touch it. Touch uh, button number one or touch button number two. Button number two for uh, direct test and button number one, the lower button for indirect test. Uh, so when you bring the uh, you know electrode close to the object, this symbol of power that appears on the screen, it means that the object is an electrophorus object. Basically, current is flowing through it. Uh, then you have the breakpoint tests. If you move uh, Press button number one or basically touch button number one. Move the contact electrode of the tester along the phase line. If the symbol power, power symbol disappears, that is the most prob pro that is most probably the break point. So I find it especially useful for checking the break point. Um, the, I didn't find the volt voltage values to be quite accurate. And see if it's going to show 220, it's going to it displays all values. 12, 36, 55, 110, 220 and you just need to look at the higher value, the highest value, 220, that, you know that is how it actually works. But I didn't find the, uh, the voltage values to be very accurate, uh, I'm not so sure you can really rely on them. But I found the inductance test uh, to be really useful, it's very useful to know if the object is actually receiving power, if it's actually uh, an electrophorus object and it's good for uh, checking whether there is a break point or not. <coughs> Okay, so it has limited use. It promises a lot, but actually fails. The uh, fails as far as the accuracy is concerned for the voltage. It could even test DC. Uh, we have CCTV cameras, and uh, the power is 12 volts in the cable. So I tested the cables, and could pick up uh, the inductance of those uh, cables. And even in the direct test, it could pick up 12 volts. So. You know, sometimes the voltage is right, sometimes it's quite inaccurate. So I'm not so sure you can actually rely on the voltage test, but definitely you can rely on the, uh, you can come to know if uh, an object is actually receiving power and you can actually test the break point. So the digital voltage tester from Stanley 66137, um, which has a very ordinary build quality, uh, has a limited use. So it it uh, over promises and under delivers so it's an okay okay um, product and i got it for rupees 75 only after 15 percent cashback i paid 89 i got 15 percent uh, cashback so my effective price was just um, 75 but on most days i got it in a sale on most days you'll get it for not less than um, 119 120 rupees 
let me check the MRP it's actually 134 and um, yeah it's digital detection screwdriver so guys hope you found this information useful you have a very good day bye bye peace